Okay, well, thank you, Shelby. Appreciate your introduction and appreciate the discussion of our whole group here. And I guess I'm asked to wrap it up. Um, let me ask uh, Leslie before we jump go too far. Uh, have we the, the polling pods? Have you been able to get those up and have give people a, a chance in terms of feedback we were wanting for this today? Has that worked out? Rick, yeah, we have. We've we've launched the first three. There's one more, I think. Whether well, we've actually got two more. There's a poll we're going to launch once the Q and A starts, and then okay. uh, there's a final one. Uh, and, and are we able to see the results of those? Uh, we're not going to be able to see them live, um, but but I'm I'm going to send a report to the panelists after oh. the webinar is over, and you'll be able to see the responses. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to uh, wrap this up here today and, and appreciate the, the work of the others that have kind of filled in. Uh, I was teaching class here up until just a couple of minutes ago, and so it's been a busy afternoon. Uh, first, I wanted to uh, thank, we, we put together a team of, uh, well, you've seen the, the leadership of the team that's uh, been sharing here this afternoon, very appreciative of, of their work in getting this project off and started. We have a, a larger group of about a dozen folks that has been very actively involved in kind of thinking through what this MASH effort should look like and uh, appreciate those folks and, and their willingness to get involved. And then there, beyond that, we have probably uh, a larger regional group of about 35 people that are just kind of staying informed and occasionally providing some feedback and, and ideas for us as we go forward. So, uh, and, and if any of you would like to be a part of this discussion in, the, in one way or the another, we'll give you a chance to share that here in just a second. Uh, I wanted to wrap this up by just sharing some ways that you can get involved. Uh, the, the, the blog that Shelby was just talking about and our desire to not only publish the blog, but take those articles and repurpose them for uh, an NRCS newsletter or for a county extension newsletter or a state extension newsletter, we would certainly welcome you repurposing our articles as part of your outreach uh, that you already run. And so if you wanted uh, to receive those repurposed blog articles when they're first published, if you would go to that URL that is uh, in the list there, and it's, it should also be in the chat box. I think it's slipped off the screen a ways, but if you uh, click up uh, in the chat box, you should see that. In fact, I got it in there twice, I see, but if you go to that website, and then you can fill in your, your name and, and uh, let us know of your interest, okay? Uh, a second way to get involved is just to stay informed as we have activities over the coming year uh, relative to just new articles being released by the blog or a roundtable announcement that you might like to participate in. And we're anticipating doing uh, at least three of these roundtables during the coming year. So if you just want to receive a mailing, an email, uh, that that's coming up here at some point in time, uh, click on that second uh, uh, second URL there, there or, or, or Get, get into that website and again I just put it into the chat box and you can just add your name to the mail list that we're beginning to accumulate for those just that want to be kept informed. So that would be a couple of ways to, to stay involved and Leslie why don't we jump to the next slide. Uh, you might have suggestions for us. Uh, we're uh, There are a lot of people that we are not yet aware of that have experience working with manure in the field situation or have research uh, of working with manure that might be potential individuals we want to get, engage in our roundtables or our, our blog. So if you've got a suggestion for us, you can type that into the chat box and we're asking you just to add a hashtag roundtable behind it and we'll sort those names out later. So please do that. Uh, just add it to the chat box. And um, Tang was sharing about the mini grants, uh, so this was already on his. If, uh, if you want to find out or uh, read the RFA and uh, consider submitting a grant, they're very short and very sweet. They're about a page long, if I remember right. Uh, there is the RFA, and I'll, I'll get that typed into the chat box here in just a second. So 
those would be some ways that you can get involved. Let me just drop that into the chat box too. Well, maybe. <laughs> Doesn't want to go for me right now. I'll figure that out. Uh, so any of those would be examples of ways to get involved. And then finally, if you had a specific interest in this issue and wanted to contribute a little bit of time to it, uh, you'd be welcome to be involved with our planning group. And I guess uh, to let us know about that interest, uh, maybe contact myself. So that are some ways that we hope that you might consider uh, becoming involved. Um, why don't we jump to the last slide, uh, just to again recognize our, our leadership team for this effort. Uh, those of us that have gotten involved in this discussion have, I think we share a common interest around uh, the, the need to see manure, the, the, the positive benefits that result from manure when it's used in the right situation and the right conditions and, and sharing more information about what those conditions and situations are where we can get the greatest value out of manure. I think for many years manure carries a stigma with it that it, it's always a negative and, and I don't believe that to be the case at all. But we do have to get it in the right conditions, in right situations where there is a value to both the, the quality of the soil, uh, a dollar value in terms of the return to the producer, and and I think if we do it right, it, there can even be a, an environmental benefit in terms of reduced runoff and erosion that we will plan to share more information down the road about. So that positive benefit that manure can have is is kind of the story we would like to tell through this MASH group. And we certainly uh, welcome the opportunity to do it, and we hope that's going to be a, a story that is of interest to you. We hope, uh, we recognize there's lots of you that have specific experiences, field experiences, or maybe research experiences, or on-farm research experiences that uh, have something to contribute to this conversation, and certainly we invite you to find a way to share that with us and we'll either work it into some of the methods that we're, we're planning on sharing this coming year or somehow make that available to those that are following this. So thank you for the opportunity to be with us today and share some information.